Hey, and welcome back. So, this is not going to be a tutorial, it's just going to be a little talk through. Um, so a lot of you have requested for some stuff for like more match move. Um, I've, I think I've covered quite a lot of match move on my channel. Um, so, but in this one, I'm just going to go through and talk some sort of key sort of shots that you really want to have on your match move reel to make it really not necessarily stand out, but kind of more direct to what recruiters and companies want to see. It's not necessarily having the most fanciest camera move. Um, it's more of getting the correct uh, technical understanding of what the, what's required. So I'm just going to go through some shots, and you can download all this stuff as well um, for free in the in the link um, in the description. Sorry. So yeah, you can do that, and also follow all the tutorials for free as well. Um, and these are just going to be some really key sort of techniques that you really want to have showing in your showroom when you're starting to look for your first sort of uh, junior role. So I'm not going to carry on going, I'm just going to look through the shots now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. It's not going to be a tutorial, it's just going to be a little talk through and reasons why. Um, and yeah, so uh, let's get going. So the first thing that ideally you really want to show on your showreel is not only that you can survey to uh, scans and geo, the fact you can also multi-shot to that as well. And so what we've got here, we've got this... Um, let me just play through it. So it's a fairly simple, simple sequence. And camera's panning down Go to a sort of establishing shot. We've got another one of uh, our Sith Lord walking down the ramp and then continuing walking across. So if we look at these shots, we can see that we've got this massive environment here and in the next shot we see him walking down this ramp which is also shared in this shot it's just this one here and in this third shot we can see he's still walking down this ramp and still continuing to share the shot so we've got a multi shot here which is generally what will happen in most cases when you're working in uh, on a show you'll have sequences and they'll be based around a, a certain set. And you need to be able to make these work to a specific scan or set build. Because, say for instance, spaceship flies down here and lands here. In the next sequence, the spaceship's going to be here and the environment's going to They're not going to want to move it per shot. So whatever it needs to be done in the same sort of uh, world space. Then in this one, spaceship will be in the same place. They won't move it and any sort of uh, environment stuff as well. So you've got these three environments and one set. So basically this is probably one of the most important things that you do want to show on your reel. So many so many um, people just get some pretty boring stock footage online and just track it and that's fine, but that's just, no one knows how you've done that or what you've done because effectively you can just track it and if it doesn't work you can just model model it to make it look right in the wireframe and we all know that and you can see it in show reels as well so the the point of this is to make it so a lot of people are asking oh can you find me some shots that'll make my uh uh show reel stand out and look amazing more and it's not it's not the point of standing out it's kind of really catching their attention with your technical ability and this is probably the most common thing that is required when working in a company. They'll have a shot, we'll have a shot sequence and a set, and they'll build an environment to this. And this is why it's important to always use Geo, because your environment artists or your modeling artists are not gonna do this more than, they're not gonna do this more than once. They're gonna build it to this set, and they're gonna dress it, do everything that it needs. Then all your cameras have to work to this. They're not gonna move it around um, just for the sake if you can't get your camera right. You might have certain set dressing stuff, but um, generally what you want to do is get all these working with this scan. So in the free download package, you get these free shots and you get this scan. So the first thing that you really need to show is that you can do this, then do a nice wireframe and play through it. So this is one of the top things that I would definitely say that you need on your reel. And don't just go into sort of like doing these really basic shots. Um, and if you've been struggling to get work or get hired 
uh, because you're, it's probably because you're not sharing the right right things basically um and i've seen hundreds hundreds and hundreds of show reels and this is the top thing that i'll pick out if i see someone that's actually done something survey to scans that's no i know that's that's the what i need for the job i need someone that can do that so i would definitely start off with doing something like this so in the next one so oh, there's a couple here so have this download it do it uh, upload it to the discord so we can see it and we'll give you notes back on it so it's as simple as that um start off with these get it all working to the set and that'll that'll be a, a really that'll make your show real stand out straight away from the start the next thing is this stock footage and i know a lot of you this has already been on my channel for quite a while but this is like a a fairly simple shot but this is also stock footage um you want to be able to with uh, sorry i'm lost my words there you want to track this this has absolutely no data which is also another common thing that will happen you'll sometimes have shots and there'll be nothing and you'll be required to model all this as well so in this one like this is still free to download and everything as well and there's a tutorial and also how to do this so in this one it would be required that you, you do track it and you tra model proxy geo for as much as you can and and as accurately as it can as far as as far as you can really go really and all the way to the mountains and even a sky dome so i would i would track this and then model all these and that's another great thing to have if you if this is you're looking for your first job and you don't necessarily always have you won't have footage to put on there you just have to find online and i've already done this for you um you don't have to look around and uh, some of them like these first ones yeah they're very simple shots in the in the grand scheme of things but you have to make them all work together on this and that's uh, the key thing if you can't do that uh well you you of you need to be able to do it basically and the same with this this is another common task where you'll build have to do much move for a shot which has no data and this is a fairly simple sort of shot as well but when you get into sort of modeling things and it all has to work properly and correctly and be the right scale so and there's also a tutorial on that so this would be another great thing to have probably second on your reel so i've kind of put these in an order which would be quite advantageous and sort of break down the skill sets and you would probably want to put um, what you've done in this shot as well i'm not going to this is not to show you how to do your show reel. This is purely sh good shots that you want in your show reel to stand out. And maybe we'll go through and uh, do some show reel tips as well. But yeah, so you want to do something like that with no data. And then this next one, you'll notice that this is also the same set. So you're, not only are you getting three shots from the same set, you're getting four. But I've put that in a different order, so it's not a big chunk of uh, the same stuff. But in this one, it's a camera, a camera track. Just a bit slow. And also an object track. So as object tracks go, this will be the simplest sort of object track that you'll probably... Well, there are simpler ones, but um, they'd be pretty boring. At least this is a little bit exciting and you can do something with it. Um, and yeah, so... This one shows that you can do cameras and object tracks in the same scene, whilst also working with the, uh, these other shots. And this is also free to download as well, with the geometry for this uh, lightsaber, and also the geometry from uh, the caves and stuff. And this shows that you can do cameras and object tracks. So, so far we've gone through and we've when, say if I saw this show reel, uh, I'd be like, okay, I know you can do multi shots. Done. Yeah, multi shots. Done it all to the same scans. Yeah, and can do stock footage and stuff like that, and make the geo. And then you can, or you can also do cameras and objects, which is already it's already got my interest that you can do stuff like this. So now I've got some more stock footage, and there is no tutorial for this. By the time you've done these, you should easily be able to do this and this is just something else that i've put in here to sort of thicken out your reel because 
a lot of the stuff on here has got tutorials and this is kind of like I would do this shot as well just to say to see what you've learned you should be able to do this with all the tutorials on there this is a little bit faster a little bit more tricky you might have to a bit a few more uh, bits of manual tracking but this also shows that you can also deal with some more stock footage and it's probably got some crazy lensing going on in there as well which you should be able to fix from this as well because you don't want you don't want your reel full of stuff that stock footage and you've modeled and done the same thing so what i see a lot of people just getting things filming it and modeling the geo and that's great it looks great but i i can't tell if it's just a building i can't tell if that's correct or not at least with this i can sort of these are shapes that i can see i know this is going to be square so it'd be pretty obvious if you've done something a bit weird and with this it's just a little bit more interesting bit of action in it so let's go on to the next one so this would be another good one to have in your on your reel so now we're going to and sort of so you look at this and this, this is pretty ooh, this shot's pretty simple um this is a zoom shot so you're going to be tackling a lot of things with this and also this is to a scan as well so you'll have to do this you'll have to do a zoom shot to a scan which is included so you'll have the zoom which will effectively have um lens breathing as well so you're going to have to animate the distortion so when you do this tutorial you're going to learn how to do your, your camera track lineups um, and do solve an animated lens distortion and focal length so that's also another really important thing to learn and you won't get much many footage with this as well and you'll have the scan as well with it and also with this one this if you follow you have to follow this tutorial all the way through because this also has a this was set up at a uh, an angle so then you can learn to do uh reorientations of scenes in the, in in Maya as well or whatever software you're using just so you can readjust scenes if they're not the, the horizon right line is not correct so this when i look at something like this is if you say it's you will have to lay you label everything with zoom and anim animated distortion and obviously you'll have your wireframe as well i didn't i i just grabbed the plates i didn't do wireframe renders because I, I don't need to do it i've already done it in the tutorials and you can see it cool and this just shows me you can do that so here's another one from our purge project that we still need to finish obviously cameras extremely simple it's just a lock off nothing special there uh you will do your lock off but in this one you'd need to object track the sword so you can try and track it in a in 3d if you want to but ideally you want to show it show that you can do this in maya because in, in all uh in all honesty you probably won't get a very you might get a decent track out of it out of uh, 3d but it'll probably go a bit funny in some places so this is really you want to try and, and do some manual tracking in Maya, which is also an extremely common thing that people look for in shots as well. And you have the footage and all the set geo and the geo for the sword. So don't worry about that. You can just download it. This is just more about you learning the skills, not necessarily having to model swords. So now you can, when someone's looking at it, they know you can actually manual object track, which means you can animate as well, um, which is a really good thing. Then finally, on the last of this, I've just put something really basic, rotomation. So, you can add more rotomation shots, but generally, there's not a huge amount out there unless you have, I can, I can, there is a rig that comes with this, but it can be quite difficult to get it looking really amazing if you don't have the, the correct rig. But this tutorial actually uses a male, quite a muscly male rig on this, uh, on this girl. And I go through and show how you can fit that a lot nicer with a completely wrong rig using uh, custom blend shapes and stuff like that. So this is also a really important thing to have on your match move reel because 
Match move isn't just cameras. There's a lot of stuff that you might be doing. They generally put match move and layout into one now. So also knowing how to do that as well is really important. So yeah, there's not a huge amount I can really sort of I've explained these sort of key things that you want in your reel. And uh, I think like if you if you put the start off doing these and if you complete these upload it to Discord and we can we can talk through it and see if it's all going right or all going wrong. Um but this will really make your reels stand out and you you can look around for your own footage, but I very much doubt that you'll find footage, uh, multiple shot footage with scans. And it doesn't, it really doesn't matter if you use tutorial footage. Well, if you use stuff from like Hollywood camera work, which is like really old and naff and like everyone knows it, I, I probably wouldn't use that. This, all this footage was, was designed for you guys to use it for your show reels. So, and it's made in a way to open up those sort of techniques for you to learn. So it doesn't matter if, because I know loads of people have got loads of people have used this already, and they've actually already got jobs from it and and stuff from that. So it doesn't matter; it's just showing the technique and and the fact that quite a few people it's already yeah it's um I don't need to go on about it, but uh, yeah, it it works. <laughs> and for something like this, you want to build all this proxy geo as well, and you got cars to reference for scale as well, so. Cool. So I would say once you've tracked all these, make sure you got nice wireframe, nice wireframe renders. Don't put silly characters in it like uh, the Hulk or the I don't know. Uh, I see a lot of people put those free models of the Hulk and Iron Man, and they put like text saying match move and stuff like that. Just do a wireframe. Anything else, it just looks unprofessional. You just want your wireframe, make it look as nice as possible. And if you're going to do an overlay with uh, UVs showing, make sure that your UVs are UV'd properly, because if they're not, if they're all stretched and horrible, it's just going to see you just haven't paid uh, attention to detail. So I just stick with the wireframe and make it look nice, and just don't put silly characters in it. Cones is fine, but yeah, mostly wireframe. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to do, but this is pretty much all I wanted to show and, and give. It wasn't a tutorial, it was just like kind of a talk over and store key stuff that would be good for your reel. For someone that I, that's looked through a lot of reels, if I saw a reel like this, this would be something that I'd probably hire someone on because it gives me... It shows me everything that I need to see um, instead of like 12 of the same videos of someone tracking stock footage. So hopefully that's helped. Uh, don't forget all the, the stuff you can download in the description. Uh, yeah, and we'll still do some match move tutorials as we're doing the big project things, but um, I won't be doing like loads and loads of match move stuff because I've, I've pretty much covered it quite uh, thoroughly already. You've just got to sit through and watch them. They're long but that's just how thorough tutorials are. You're not going to learn something in 10 minutes. You just got to keep practicing. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help. Um, drop some comments in the questions and stuff like that. Um, join the Discord. Uh, this is mostly where this has come from, people asking for stuff for showreels. So yeah. I uh, hope you enjoy that. Um, I'm just going on now. I probably won't talk on this, but I've talked on for almost 20 minutes now. So, yeah, I would, I would definitely just download these and try and get these through and completed before you start asking for more, more complicated shots. Because if you can't do these, there's no point in you doing more complicated shots. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next tutorials. Thanks for watching.